and it's uh, time to welcome my guest for the record exchange. Uh, we're, we're now mates, so I'm, I can call him Jamie Palumbo, co-founder of Ministry of Sound. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Really, really good, thank you. And it, it's very nice to meet you. First, can I just give you a message from the teenage me? Um, thanks for the club. It's well good. Uh, and then uh, and then we can crack on. <laughs> That's a great pleasure. It's a very sweet message. <laughs> okay, um, let's let because obviously the point of the record exchange is, is we talk about your your personal record collection. But uh, there's something that m- some people may not realise about you is the co-founder of Ministry of Sound. What is the music that gets you going? Do you know what I mean? Classical music. And uh, I understand the point of the record exchange, but I think my few point is a tiny bit different. Mm, yeah, OK. Well, let's talk about your record collection then. So is it entirely full of classical music or does it kind of, does it go elsewhere? Have you been influenced by the club? Has it kind of permeated in any way? Well, the thing about uh, the music you play is that it's all ultimately based on classical music. True. So there are connections and it would sort of be fun to do a show playing the music I like and the, and the music you're more associated with. But yeah, it's mainly Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, the great operas, but it does go through to uh, uh, artists that I'd consider, you know, yeah. uh, like, like example and Rich 3-2, which have some integrity and some... You know, classical forebears. Okay, well, let's let's talk about the Ministry of Sound. Um, I know it's difficult to do, but can we have a, a, a little miniature history of, of your dear club? Um, yes, especially uh, as it's currently being threatened by yes, beastly yeah. developers. 20 years old, two weeks ago, uh, when it started, no one thought that it would continue via the first few months. It had no uh, alcohol. It was in a really rough part of South London. You couldn't, um, it didn't open until 12 o'clock. All the recipe for failures. The place was sort of taken over by its security. We were busy dealing drugs. And it was a hard, dangerous, uh, worrying slog for the first few years. We got through it. And then in the end, started building the record business, the touring business, the branding business. And now, as far as I can see, we're sort of pretty much the last man standing, aren't we? Yeah, how does that feel? Does that sadden you or are you just sort of relieved? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know um, how often I, I, uh, I think about it. Um, you know, I, I am not, uh, and you talked about yourself as a teenager, I'm, I'm not a clubber, I've never been to Ibiza. I'm, so um, uh, being apart from it... Uh, I think uh, you know we've I've never got sucked in like maybe some of the other people who started clubs and then yeah got a bit carried away do you think the key to the to ministry success is that you have branched out into into so many different avenues of the business because you've sold over 50 million albums for goodness sake you know is that is that what keeps it riding high do you I think? think every business has got to branch out you, you've got to you can't hang around because trend trends change um uh, things going out of fashion and yes is the answer and w- and we're still we're still doing new things we're still making mistakes um, um and the day we stop changing is the day we'll stop growing yeah absolutely okay well before i play the record that i selected um f- for you um i i will say that uh, yeah this is now I, I came across my best of sampled cd again this week basically what happens to okay. me is occasionally i open my cd cupboard and something just goes me 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 and it, yeah. it kind of actually jumps out and often hits me bodily on the way down right um such is the state of said cupboard uh but then i realized that there are some records on here that uh, have a distinct uh, affiliation and relationship with Ministry of Sound. Okay, so great. Here is one of those from me to you. So I'm exchanging records with Jamie Palumbo, co founder of the Ministry of Sound. And I chose for you Carrie Lucas and Dance With You because it was then sampled on, of course, by Armour Van Helden became You Don't Know Me. Big old wonderful tune. Plus, it, it, if, if the rumours are correct, uh, Ministry of Sound was kind of modelled on the Paradise Garage. So I thought it was sort of, it would work across the board. It's difficult doing this with you, Joe, because you smile so much when talking. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy, that's why. It's the music that makes me smile. Eight out of ten. <laughs> Thank right, you. Joe? Thank you. Right, listen, uh, before we get on to the books and that, let's talk quickly about these pesky developers. What has happened? Because, as you said, Mr. Sound has sort of been genuinely threatened of late um, by some sort of 
progress and it's steamrolling threatened with destruction yes well look we're not uh, a, a bunch of uh, shrill people with um old grandmother how dare you how dare you and if there needs to be development if there needs to be change right. we understand but the problem with this development is that we it was pre-decided before the normal process right. and that is what we got a problem with mm. the developer also came to see us very early on and flicked his hand in the air and said well nightclubs come and go <gasps> so you know could you kindly oh. just lie down and die so we've been fighting it there is a petition uh 25,000 signatures the, the the response has been fantastic we are incredibly grateful people have come up really from all over the world i i very much doubt they'll get it through and we feel it's a worthy cause yeah absolutely okay and quite right too um let's move on to the books now uh, have you always considered yourself to be a, a, an author was this something that was later in life or you just were waiting for the opportunity to start writing brilliant satirical books i mean and what's your story from that angle well i've been doing my research on you and i now know that you're studying literature i am yep and i think you've got to move on in life don't you yeah um and also i'm a bit mad as i'm sure you are and all the best people are and uh that's the way i express myself but music and writing especially as you as you know it, it's sort of the same thing the yes, same cadence is, yeah. the same flow the yeah. same um and uh, yes from childhood i've always been f fascinated in literature i love literature and, and wanted to give it a go now i'm a bit older okay so tell me about the current book then um the current book is about fakeness all the fakeness dave you switched on the x factor last night that was a very good example i don't know if you saw nicole Schertzinger or whatever she's called on the uh, uh the, the show in america last week up on her feet her lip trembling she was in tears oh this is why i do the show with some horrific karaoke impression of i will always love you uh, and it's about politicians lying and it's about nonsense of, and there are lots of serious books by people with beards on the subject uh, mine's got a light touch plenty of jokes it's a sort of dark fairy tale with humor it's set in a sort of wonderful futuristic world in which a new star is discovered the end is imminent and one hero sets out to save the day sort of yeah but there's also a girl yeah. and there's a dog yeah. and there's a spaceship <laughs> <laughs> All the necessary <laughs> factors are in there. Okay, what's it called? It's called Tancredi. Okay, well, you've got to big it up. And, and who's it by, or who's it published by, so that people may seek it out? It's published by uh, Marlborough Press, but you can see big blue words on a white background, Tancredi, Tancredi, can Tancredi. Okay, there mm -hmm. you go. All right, then. Um, it's been lovely, thank you. Now, what record have you bought for me, Jamie? You haven't bought me anything classical, have you? Not that I don't love it, but... I've brought you something with good classical antecedents examples mm -hmm. stay awake okay um is example somebody that you're then i presume a fan of very much so uh, I, I think he's on the brink of global i mean he's a, he's a superstar in this country i think he's going to go it's global amazing music amazing lyrics i mean what you just played me i loved eight out of ten it's a sunday morning it's happy we jump up and down but you know dancing the night away we're going to keep it going to the break of day i need you i need you i, need, yeah, I, know, yeah, yeah. I think example is lyrically in in a different area okay so you know as as yes as a he's credible then to you he's 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 singing about the things that he cares about he's singing about his girlfriends he's singing about his life he's got integrity he's got depth he's got passion and that for me is half of it yeah all right well jamie palumbo co-founder of ministry of sound author extraordinaire uh, thank you here is then your choice example and stay awake <laughs> 